Hey guys, so I was just in my house about to get ready to make another video and I was like, why not um, do just kind of like a get ready with me? So, breaking out a little, whatever. My hair, um, I already started unbraiding it. It was just like in two French braids for like the last two days because I'm in the house quarantining and I had no reason to, you know, take it out or look cute. But because I slept on it, um, it's just really like raggedy. Also, um, I really need to wash my hair, but I got stitches on my thumb. You can kind of see it. Um, I was cutting, or I was washing dishes and cut it with a blade knife. And yeah, don't do that. I was a little tipsy and I just wasn't paying attention and I grabbed it by the top. Obviously, don't do that. Um, I recommend really just using gloves when you wash dishes. I'm gonna just take this little Frizzies Heat Defeat Protecting Spray by John Frieda, and I'm just gonna spritz this because I'm gonna be using some heat on it. After I do that, just kind of like finger through it, and I like how it has like a waviness from the braids. Um, then I'm just gonna take the front piece and oops, gonna just curl it outwards. And I'm using a wand. The wand I'm using is Bedhead. Had it for a while. I wanna get like a new one. But I'm trying not to even put the machete on my hair. It's just that it was already like um, straightened, curled, whatever. So I figured, I figured I might as well just put it to use before I wash my hair. Since it's already just like away from the braids, I'm just gonna be mostly curling the pieces that are just showing on the outside. And you're gonna see, I'm gonna brush it out, blend it through just to give it a little more body and like wave, look a little cleaner. Um, also the ends of my hair are very like dry and weird, but I'm just gonna kind of curl it as a whole just to give it a little bit of shape because I don't want to individually have to do that. Take this Tiffany hold hairspray and just sit and spray it and then take a little brush and just brush through this. And then I'm gonna take Put it into like a low bun just to give it some shape. And you could put oils like on the end of your hair, but not look super dry while it's in the bun. So I'm gonna just take some argan oil, which I spilled this the other day too and wasted most of it. Um, but just a little oil on my end. All right, just something to just keep it in place. And then we're gonna just go ahead and do the same on this side, just taking that front piece, curling her. I might meet up with someone else to do a video, so stay tuned. But it's already really late, so hopefully they're still down to do it. I just wanted to like get my own stuff done first. Even, <laughs> but um, I'm not going anywhere, so okay. all right. So, my friend called me and like my video stopped. Um, anyways, I'm just doing my edges, my baby hairs, whatever, taking some Eco Styler gel. crazy right now but once I take it out and like fix it you guys will see the magic um and I'm just gonna take this little scarf just so that uh I don't get makeup around this area or a lot and also just to like flatten it down a bit I'm gonna wash my hands now because I have like oils and different stuff on it and washing them very thoroughly because getting my nails getting all the soap in there 
all this shit go on. Gotta be thorough. Do not touch your face unless your hands are super, super clean. Of course, I would be breaking out like when I decide to make this video. My skin's been so clear and now I have like a few pimples, but um, I also want to do a skincare routine. So I'm not going to really go into the products I'm putting on my face because that's going to be a whole separate video. Um, but what I'm going to do first is take just some moisturizer. I'll show you this. I'm going to be using the Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration by First Aid Beauty because my skin has been super, 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 oh my god, I just burned my hand. Super dry. And then I'm going to take some jojoba oil and I just like to take like a few drops and mix it in with my moisturizer and I just think it makes all the difference. I'm gonna show you like the primers that I use. So the first primer I'm gonna use is this Tatcha, the Silk Canvas Primer. And I just take a little bit and this really helps just to crease the appearance of your pores. So I'm just gonna put that mostly right here because this is the area that I feel like I have pores. Then I'm gonna take this strobe cream by MAC. I use a few primers. I probably don't need all of these, but I feel like the strobe cream is just another moisturization layer. And yeah. Then I'm gonna mix these last two. So I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Radiance. Um, so I just put a little squirt, little dot of that. And then I'm gonna take the Smashbox, the original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. Um, and I just kind of mix them. If you put makeup down your neck, also put your primers there. So now that I'm done with all the primers, I'm gonna just take um, a concealer. This one's 320 by Fenty Beauty. And it's the Pro Filter Concealer. And what I do is I just spot conceal areas first before I actually apply my foundation and I recommend getting a color that's either your skin tone or a little bit darker to do this first don't don't use like a lighter concealer um to spot conceal before foundation I used to do that and it just doesn't really cover anything it's just really pointless um so yeah sometimes I go overboard but just basically put dots all over my face and now I'm gonna take, I need to get my brushes, they're behind here. So now I'm gonna take my foundation brush. This one is from Sephora and it's just a pro slanted buffing brush. It's number 88. So if you go to Sephora in their brush section, ask for 88. And I used to use a beauty blender and now I don't um, because, not for my initial application, because I just feel like it was taking away the makeup. Then even wetting it, I feel like sometimes it, um, applies to your skin and looks blotchy i'm just not a fan so um yeah just gonna take this you can use like a smaller brush and like go in depth and actually dot everything but that just takes forever and i feel like this just is faster so yeah it doesn't have to be perfectly blended because we're putting foundation over this it's just more so like a base so that you have more coverage and then also get your eyelids if you're like me and you have veiny eyelids. Mine are like super red, so if I don't put makeup on them, you can notice like something's going on. Um, yeah, so now for the fun part, the foundation. I'm going to go ahead and take um, this Huda Beauty foundation. Now, I'm going to show you guys something. So I went on like three vacations back to back and got such a tan. My body is still like this is my natural. Well, I have concealer on, but still, you know. My shoulder is already so much darker than my face. Like my face isn't as tan. So um, I was using the Huda Beauty foundation in Macchiato 400G. This was my original color. And then um, I noticed like in pictures and stuff, I just, my face was way more white, like compared to my body. So I went and got a darker shade and this one is in Brown Sugar 410. So 400G, 410G, I went up a couple shades. Or this, I think this is just the next one or something. But this is the difference. This was my original color and now this is what I wear. And it's probably not exact, but um, like verbatim, but I just think it looks better and I don't look like two different tones. 
So I'm going to take this. Also, this is a very drying foundation, but it's just really full coverage. That's why I like it. So I like to add like a drop of oil, the same jojoba oil, just in my foundation um, before I apply it. And then I take the end of my foundation brush and just kind of mix it. And then just use that and just apply whatever was left. Um, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to start on one side, work my way up from the bottom. And this is just how I apply my foundation. I haven't applied foundation in a long time, y'all. Um, the other day I had to do a promo picture and I just did concealer. I didn't even do like a full face of foundation. Um, so this just feels so crazy. And I've been having like problems with my skin. Um, I went and got a hydrofacial because it was just looking so dry even underneath makeup. So um, let's see if that made a difference because it already looks like my skin isn't as dry underneath, which is great. So I'm on the other side, just working my way up. Um, I really go back and forth to make sure everything is blended and there's no blotchiness or missing spots because that can happen better. And I just take like the top and just lightly go over the top of my eyelids because I do have eyelash extensions so I don't really like to put makeup there even though you can but it's just harder to get it off so I just don't even bother. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a dry like little beauty blender. Well this is actually not from beauty blender it's the um, Real Techniques sponge which I actually prefer better. And I just go over my whole face just to pat everything in and make sure it's like smooth and blended after that i'm gonna go back with that same concealer and just put it um on any areas i feel like aren't fully covered which is really just under my eye and then i have like a pimple on these sides and this is when i'd probably take like um a more flat brush Now for the fun part, so I'm gonna take some bronzer. This is by Too Faced and it's in chocolate, dark chocolate soleil. And I'm gonna take this little brush. This is by, I wanna say Morphe, this is their collection, or Real Techniques. It's either one, I just can't remember. And it's from like the Mean Girls collection. And it says you can walk home, which is, um, so yeah, I just kind of go all over with this. It smells like chocolate too. I'm not really a contour girl. I more so just like to bronze up my face just for some extra color. But I don't really do like the whole shaping thing because I'm just not good at that. And I like a very simple, fast, quick makeup look. So, you know, I just don't have the time. But I, I love the look of it when like a professional does it on me. Make sure to get my forehead because I like a really small forehead look get my nose I guess I kind of contour my nose I just put it on the sides the tip jawline and cheeks um and then I'm gonna before I blend take another bronzer this is by KKW Beauty and it's so rubbed off so I have no idea the shade but I believe I got like the darkest shade that she had I'm just gonna go over and add another layer of bronzer then I'm gonna just go back with that same foundation brush and just kind of blot and go underneath where I added the cheek bronzer um, and just make sure everything is blended. So for my favorite part of makeup is blush. I just feel like it brings everything together. So I'm gonna take my NARS blush in Torrid very pretty it's like a corally pink it's not like super pink but it also has a little coral to it and i'm gonna take this brush by aesthetica i don't know and just pat it in there dust off the excess i go up smile and go up don't go down take my same powder brush that I haven't even used for powder yet and 
just do this dab don't like blend just dab and then I just keep using all the brushes I use to just make sure everything is blended it's like my process so now what we're gonna do is um, I'm just gonna brush out my lashes I have lash extensions so I don't need to really do eyelashes or mascara and I recently got eyelash extensions I was kind of against them but honestly I was going on so many trips and vacations and it just made everything easier and then once I came back I was addicted so now I'm probably gonna be getting them for a while it just took me a lot longer to get ready without them so I would put on so many layers of mascara and I just don't enjoy putting on false eyelash strips so I don't really do that but um anyways gonna take Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara this is the one I used to use on my bottom and top and I'm just gonna put this on the bottom um and I actually would have typically done this after powder but I just kind of forgot so we're gonna go and do my powder now and I use Laura Mercier translucent powder this is my um, all-time favorite because it doesn't give you like a tint. It's translucent, so it can go on any skin tone. You don't have to worry about looking yellow or getting flashback. So this is just my all-time favorite, and I probably won't ever try anything else because I just I stick to what I like and what I know works. Um, and I just put a little bit on the top, and then I already put mascara on, so I'm going to do that part last just to let it dry. But I'm going to take a little and just... Put like a light layer underneath where I added the bronzer and I'm just gonna let that sit for like a little bit and then since my forehead gets a little dry I just like to tap a little bit just so I don't look shiny but I don't really put a lot yeah I just use powder to not look shiny but I do have dry skin so I don't like to go overboard and I do not bake I'm so against baking it just makes me look splotchy and dry um if you have oily skin though I am sure you like baking but yeah and then I already wiped off like the one I had sitting that was just to accentuate like you know get a sharper bronzer look but I don't let it sit too long um now I'm gonna just go under my eyes lightly and I just like to tap the powder in I don't really like rub it just tap it under a little and then I'm gonna just go back um and use this Dior pump and volume HD Dior show mascara and I'm gonna go back and put a little more under my bottom lashes since it probably came off with the powder. I like very defined bottom lashes. I like to look like a doll. I'm gonna take my setting sprays. I use three different ones. So this is the Urban Decay All Night and I'm gonna cover my lashes. And then I'm gonna take this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This one's mattifying. Um, yeah. And last thing, I'm gonna take the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. You can do this before your makeup too, but I just do it after. So I have a few different highlighters, but today I'm gonna use the Cover Effects Glitter Drops. And I'm going to just take a little bit on my hand. Just put a drop on my hand. It's so pretty, you guys. So pretty. Because it's all over your body. Everything. But I'm just going to use it as a highlighter. Um, so I just took a little bit, put it on my hand, and I put it right here. And I let it get on my lips, too. Because you're going to see underneath the lip gloss, it's going to look pretty. Now it looks crazy, but just wait. Just you wait. And then a dot on my nose, like that. This like a little goes a long way, so be very light-handed with it, unless you just really like a pop and pop and highlight. And then I'm gonna just take it, I do my highlight kind of like that. I don't really like putting it here because I just, I don't know, I just don't like it there. But yeah, and then I'm gonna put a little bit under my brow bone as well. And this is my like everyday glam natural makeup. Like if I'm on more on the go, I probably wouldn't, I would skip the highlighter and probably like skip the blush. Um, but 
if I'm like need to take pictures or I'm going to like a photo shoot where I have to come with my makeup done, like this is the look that I would do. The full shebang and lashes obviously make it easier. Um, if I didn't have lash extensions and I was doing like pictures or going to a shoot, I'd probably just add strips. But um, typically for everyday thing, I just do mascara. All right, so now that that is done, I'm gonna just take my beauty blender again and just go over the areas I highlighted to make sure it's blended. The last step is eyebrows. So I need my eyebrows done very badly, but um, the world is going through a lot right now. So I don't think my girl is taking appointments, but I'm just gonna brush them upwards. Very crazy thick eyebrows. So I just like to give them a little more of a neater look, but I don't really feel too much. Um, I'm going to take this hourglass in dark brunette um, and just kind of just fill in the little gaps very, very lightly and kind of underline my brows. Eyebrows are cousins, not even sisters. They are cousins. And we're almost done. Now I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel and this is just in dark brown, I believe. I don't see where the color is but I think it's dark brown just because I've been using this for a while and it's just a, a brow gel to keep your brows in place with a little tint also if I was doing like a quicker look I would skip like the filling in and just use this or clear brow gel by Anastasia but I'm out of that all right oh I forgot something lips so I'm gonna take this NYX nude beige liner and I use this Laniage Sleeping Care Sleep Lip Mask, and it just really helps moisturizing if your uh, lips are dry. It might have been very dry. So I just overline a little bit with this. This Chanel Rouge Cocoa Gloss. I don't think that's the name though. I don't know what color, it's 716. It's a brown tinted gloss though. And um, then I'm gonna take this one by MAC. It was from the Cinderella collection, Project Slipper in Secura. And that is pretty much it for my little natural glam quick makeup look. Now back to the hair guys. So I'm gonna take out the buns and you're gonna just see the little body it gave my hair. Look at that, so easy. It looks like you curled your hair. Perfect. Ooh. And I just kind of wanted to keep that little shape. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to go in with my mini straightener and just go over these edges that are a little funky. from some little braids a little curls and buns like you have this simple ass hairstyle so if your hair is naturally straight i'm sure you could do this too simple video um just an idea on how you can do your hair and makeup as an everyday glam look not even glam you could go anywhere with this you can go on a date to a shoot take some pictures to the grocery store whatever your heart desires and yeah so I hope you guys enjoy. Um, this just reminded me of the little Vogue like get ready videos. I might title this that like Lala's Vogue go to everyday makeup and hair look. Even though this isn't my everyday hair look, but so I hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time.